Hey everyone, it's Steve Braun at the BGB studio. Uh, my wife and daughter and I went to the local elementary school production of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which was long, uh, but something really interesting happened. So these kids, you know, third, fourth, fifth graders, um, up there on stage, and before, during, and after, they were so excited. I mean, it, it was radiating from them, the joy that they were having up there, from the Oompa Loompas to Charlie, um, it was a, a profound expression of, of joy. And what was interesting was, as I was watching it, it looked very, very, very familiar to me that when the actors that are at our studio now, many of whom are working actors, uh, from the actor that's just showing up after theater school uh, all the way to the actor who's on the fancy show and, and, and winning the awards, when they reach that level of joy, it's the same joy in that fourth grader. It's the same kind of thing. And you see these, um, these fragile, vulnerable, they're checking out their parents in the audience, making sure they're doing it okay, but they're, they're, they're brave and they're doing it. You see these young people and, and it is uh, stunning to watch. It's infectious how alive they are. And the tragic thing is that at some point, these beautiful, fragile, vulnerable creatures are going to meet emotional violence. At some point, some jackass teacher or a parent or somebody is gonna say, that wasn't good enough, or the industry or whomever. They're gonna get the sense that they need to protect because they're gonna get hurt. And it dawns on me that every single thing that we do at this studio is about trying to get back to that vulnerability, trying to create space for that fourth grader so that they can show up in what feels like um, this oppressive audition process. Um, and I find that actors put that fourth grader and all their excitement um, into some sort of room and they lock it up, either because they want to protect that fourth grader and all their vulnerability, or, and this is perhaps uh, more tragic, um, they don't trust that that fourth grader is going to be enough that the industry is gonna want something from them that this fourth grader couldn't possibly satisfy, and so you go stay over there and don't come out because I need to be something other than you. And so every audition class we have here, sure, we're gonna deal with the technical elements of it. Every ongoing class, every scene study class, heck, the meditation, the qigong, the self-defense, it's about creating space, finding space in those situations, sometimes elbowing out a little bit of space so that we can open the door and let that fourth grader out with all of her fragility and all of her vulnerability and her excitement and her joy at play um, and, and, and let her uh, do what she does. And it's hard, it's so hard. And your mind gets in the way and the industry starts indoctrinating you into its bean counting and comparing and con contrasting. and. Um, and it, it, it tells you that what's ugly is beautiful and that what's beautiful is ugly and you stop trusting that fourth grader. But what was important to me is that I saw how much it mattered to them on stage. Some of them were hitting notes, some of them were not. <laughs> some of them were wildly connected actually and some were hamming it up and doing shtick. And, but they, they, it mattered to them and I remember that I, I felt that way too. Um, my first line in a production when I was in fourth grade, my very first time on stage was Good Afternoon, Nice Day. And I remember it, I'm 42 years old now, I remember it decades later because it mattered to me so much. And it still does, this work still does. So the question is where is space in this ridiculous industry for that fourth grader? And that's the work. It's less about the technical elements that are designed to try to control the outcome and more about where can I let this fourth grader out? And the interesting thing, when you address that space and, and you do the work of finding that space in these limiting circumstances, your fourth grader gets to trust you. And it, 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 it trusts that you'll take care of it, that you'll nurture it, that you'll keep it safe. And so they come out more easily with practice. And, and then, they can come out in any situation, even when the executives have their knives out. They can come out and do their thing, because they trust that you'll take care of them, but you have to address them. 
And so many actors, once they reach the industry, they sell that fourth grader out with all their excitements, all their discovery, um, all their beginner's mentality. They sell that out because I think it's not enough. And everything I saw on that stage made me realize that it is enough, that excitement is enough. And, and if it's not for the industry, uh, the industry's wrong. <laughs> so stay the course, find another way in, find another outlet for that excitement, for that beautiful, naive vulnerability. Um, write your own stuff, shoot your own stuff, but keep coming back to that fourth grader and, and that excitement and, and that radiation of joy about the work. And, and if there's an audition technique, it's that. <laughs> it's creating space in an environment where it feels like there is no space.